Hey guys, welcome to Skilllink. When we go out during summer, the scorching sun causes our body to feel warm. Similarly, when we drink hot coffee or tea during winter, we feel our body getting warmer. This is because of the heat entering our body. There are several such instances where we feel heat entering our body, but there are also times when we feel the heat leaving our body. Examples of such instances are when you go out during the night, when you take a cold shower, or the cooling effect that your sweat has after you exercise. We feel such effects due to a change in temperature. In simplest terms, the temperature is a thermal state of the body which distinguishes a hot body from a cold body. In our previous video, we mentioned that the zeroth law of thermodynamics establishes the concept of temperature and thermal equilibrium. Today, we'll talk about these concepts in a bit more detail. The roots of the concept of temperature lie in our common concepts of hot and cold. In scientific terms, temperature is defined as a measure of the kinetic energy of the atoms or molecules in the system. This can be understood easily by comparing a cup of coffee with a cup of iced tea. The average kinetic energy is higher for water molecules in the cup of coffee when compared to the energy of the water molecules in a cup of iced tea. This means that the water molecules in the cup of coffee are moving at a higher velocity and colliding with each other more frequently. Hence, the temperature of coffee is higher than that of iced tea. Temperature is an intensive quantity, which means that the value of temperature won't change no matter how much quantity you add into the system, provided the new addition also has the same temperature. The temperature of 200 ml of coffee will stay the same if you add another 50 ml of coffee, given that the extra quantity also has the same temperature. Since temperature is an intensive quantity, the melting point is used by chemists for the identification of pure substances. The melting point is the temperature at which a sample melts and it has no dependence on the mass of the sample used. Well, are you now wondering how the temperature increases or decreases? Well, let's take an example of boiling water. When water is boiled, an external work is done on the water. Due to this, the water molecules get excited and their kinetic energy increases. As a result, these molecules collide with each other much faster and hence an increase in temperature is observed. Now let's move to the concept of thermal equilibrium. We know that a system is said to be in thermal equilibrium when the temperature of the system does not change with time and this temperature is the same throughout the entire system. Thermal equilibrium also implies that matter is not flowing in or out of the system. All systems tend to reach thermal equilibrium, with some reaching equilibrium faster than the others. To understand this concept more clearly, let's use an example. Consider two bodies, out of which one is cold and the other is hot. Then we will bring the two bodies in contact. As the two bodies with significantly different temperatures are left in contact, it can be observed that the hot body becomes cooler while the cold body becomes hotter. This is because of the heat transfer taking place between the two bodies. After some time, the change in temperature for both bodies stops. This occurs when both bodies have reached the same temperature. This happens because both bodies have attained thermal equilibrium. There are several more examples of attaining thermal equilibrium that we observe in our day-to-day -day life. The tea getting cold when left on a table, the melting of an ice cube when placed into a glass of water, etc. are few of those examples. Today, we talked about these concepts in detail with some examples. It must be noted that there are some more types of equilibriums relevant to thermodynamics, namely chemical and mechanical equilibrium. We've covered these equilibriums in our video on thermodynamic equilibriums. If you haven't watched them, check the link in the description below. In our upcoming videos, we will cover more content on thermodynamics. This is Skill Link and we'll see you on the next one. Bye!